Hi, today we're gonna to make a video showing you how to change your oil on a 1999 Toyota Tacoma 2.4 liter. Let's go ahead and get started. First, go ahead and open up your engine compartment. It's always a good idea to check your owner's manual to see what kind of oil your vehicle takes. My 1999 Toyota Tacoma 2.4 liter takes 5W30. I'll be using today Mobile One Full Synthetic 5W30 oil. You will need a few simple tools to complete this process. You will need a funnel, an oil drain pan, oil filter wrench, and a wrench to remove your oil drain plug. We will start by looking underneath the vehicle. As you can see, we've located the oil drain pan. You will go ahead with your wrench, go ahead and remove this bolt. Be sure to have your oil drain pan in place to catch the oil. As you can see, we've removed our drain plug and we are presently draining the oil. We'll let this drain until nothing more comes out of the pan. While your oil is draining, it's a good idea to inspect your drain plug and look at the gasket very carefully to make sure it's not damaged in any shape or form or too thin. If it is bad, go ahead and replace the drain plug. You should be able to do that for around $10 or so at your local auto parts store. Now that our oil has finished draining, we will go ahead and reinstall our drain plug and we will tighten it up by hand until it won't tighten anymore. And we'll go about a quarter to a half a turn with a wrench. Don't over tighten it or you could damage your oil pan. Next, go ahead and locate your oil filter. On my 1999 Toyota Tacoma 2.4 liter, the easiest access to the oil filter is from the passenger side just next to the front right wheel. Go ahead and install your oil filter wrench on the oil filter and turn it counterclockwise to remove it. Make sure you have your oil drain pan underneath the area to catch any oil that falls. Okay, I've removed the old oil filter and I'm ready to install the new filter. It's always a good idea to take a splash of oil and rub it around the rubber gasket on the new oil filter. This will help make a proper seal and avoid any leaks. Okay, we're now ready to install the new oil filter. We'll go ahead and hand tighten it and now we'll go ahead and get the oil filter ratchet and tighten it down further. Don't excessively tighten the oil filter. All right, now that we've went ahead and reinstalled our oil filter and properly tightened it down, we're gonna go back into the engine compartment and remove the oil cap. And we'll put the funnel in place and go ahead and fill it up. In my case, the vehicle should take approximately four and a half quarts. We're gonna go ahead and add four quarts, then briefly start the engine and check the oil at the dipstick located right here. All right, now we've completely added four quarts of oil. We're gonna go ahead and remove the oil funnel. And we're gonna replace the oil cap back on. And we're gonna briefly start the engine and check the oil at the dipstick right here. Okay, we've went ahead and started our engine and let it run briefly. Now we're gonna go ahead and check our oil. We're gonna pull out the dipstick, wipe it clean with the rag, and stick it back in and check it. It might be a little bit hard to see, but we are a little bit low. We're gonna go ahead and add another half quart of oil and recheck it again. Okay, we've went back ahead and added more oil. We've actually added three quarters of a quart of oil so my particular Tacoma calls for four and three quarters quarts. It's always a good idea to add a little bit less because you could always add more. Okay, I don't know how well we can see it on the camera there, but we are definitely within operating range. It's always a good idea also to check your oil every time you get gas. And please check your manufacturer's specifications of what kind of oil your car takes and also how much it will take. Folks, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click on the link below to look at our website. Thank you.